hello and welcome Leo. Welcome to Music Messages Tarot. If you are returning, welcome back. This video is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And as with all my videos, it is timeless. So whenever you come across this message, that is when you are meant to hear it. Um, I do need to put a little bit of a disclaimer today. Um, I have some work going on on my home. So you may hear a little bit of noise going on outside. There's not really much I can do about that today, okay? But we are gonna get right into your message. I hope you're all doing really well. If you're viewing this in real time, this is one of my favorite times of the year, right around Halloween. All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, Okay, we have the Empress, Leo. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Hierophant. And we have the High Priestess. Okay, Leo, so a lot going on here and a lot of potential for whoever this video is going to resonate with today. Um, you have a brand new beginning, some kind of solid beginning that wants to come in. Perhaps some of you have started a relationship recently. If you haven't, you have one in your energy right now trying to come in. There's a connection trying to form here. Um, with the Hierophant and the Empress here, it's a very similar message to what came out for Virgo. Very strong marriage potential, family potential, uh, the potential to possibly have have children with this person that's coming in. They're gonna want to have a really solid foundation with you and really work on their connection with you. If this is somebody from your past coming back, this person wants to work on your connection and work on um, having a really strong, positive relationship with you. You have extremely abundant divine feminine energy happening here. So whoever this message is gonna be for today, for most of you, you're most likely going to resonate as a divine feminine because we have the empress and we have the high priestess here, okay? Both both aspects of the divine feminine energy. Very abundant, very, um, very abundant, receptive, magnetic energy, but also the ability to tap into your intuition, your emotions to help guide your decision making and to allow things to unfold in your life. Okay, so very beautiful energy. I do wanna clarify, we're gonna clarify on all of this, but with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, uh, this may be another person regarding your romantic situation. This might be like a third party or a karmic connection that's influencing this situation somehow. For some reason, I'm picturing someone's, like a maternal figure, someone's mother. Um, maybe your person's mother, but because she came out in reverse, I am picking up a little bit of a negative energy around whoever this is. I mean, that might not resonate for everyone, but I am picking up there's some feminine energy in this equation on the periphery here somehow that's either affecting things or trying to affect things. So we're going to get some clarification right now on what's going on here. Spirit, what's... What's happening here with this Ace of Pentacles for my Leos? What is this solid new beginning that wants to come in? Two of Swords. So you may have a choice uh, between people who may be coming in with a solid romantic offer for you. For others of you, that may be a career opportunity. This is not a specifically a love reading. So you may have a couple of different career opportunities or job opportunities presenting themselves to you as well. Um, but with the Hierophant and the High Priestess, and in this deck, this is, um, I'm sorry, the Empress card. With the Hierophant and the Empress card, particularly in this deck, as it's denoted for, as fertility in this deck, with those two energies on the table, I definitely get a relationship coming toward you. And one that has very, very long-term potential, like family-level potential. Like I said, a very similar message to the Virgo reading that I did last week. Okay, we also have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, some kind of choice here. Uh, you may be stuck between two options, maybe not able to, to make a decision at first, or you may, when, whenever this new offer comes towards you, whether it be a new job opportunity or two different people who are interested in you, Leo, you may feel a little stuck in making the decision at first, okay? 
What's this three of pentacles? Justice. You may be dealing with a Libra. Also, the way she's weighing out the scales, I'm getting a very similar energy as we just revealed here. Someone who's trying to weigh out their options, um, figure out which path to take, which path to put your efforts into, which one um, makes the most sense for you before you actually do the hard work. And again, that could be a career or it can be a relationship. So only you're going to know how that resonates today, Leo. Yeah, we have the three of wands in reverse. I feel like you're you're pausing at this time. You're taking a pause to make whatever this important decision is before you go forth and take action. So it has to do with two different paths or two different people. I get for a lot of you, it is going to be between two different people, two different romantic interests. And possibly it's somebody you're already with versus a, a new romantic interest that's trying to come in. Uh, but one of these options is going to be better suited for you than the other. Like I said, we have marriage potential and possibly like children and a family with one of these people, okay? Either way, this can be a financial message, a career message for some of you. Either way, Leo, whoever I'm tapping into today, you are in your true divine feminine essence, okay? You are extremely magnetic and abundant right now. Like I said before, with both the Empress and the High Priestess having come out right on top of each other, okay? It's like you're embodying all that the divine feminine energies are right now. So whatever it is you're trying to manifest, you can manifest. You're like a manifesting wizard right now. Um, but I feel like it's almost like you're going to have multiple options. Like you're not going to maybe know which way to go. Uh, manifestation is not your obstacle right now. I think it's the fact that you have multiple choices coming to you. All right, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. That's interesting because the Queen of Pentacles came out in reverse below here. Um, this Empress energy is you, Leo. But I'm getting that whoever this Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, they it might be a couple. So it might be someone's parents. It might be a karmic feminine and a karmic masculine energy here in the mix trying to affect your connection with someone else. Um, for some of you, I'm picking up these are platonic connections. They may not be romantic connections. Okay, but for someone here, there are karmic energy is surrounding you that you need to watch out for at this time is what spirit is guiding me to let you know. They may be people who are very good at pretending to be your friend and looking like they have your best interest at heart, but actually they are kind of always casting the side eye, always casting like negative energy, kind, kind of hoping to see you fail. So there are people like that in your midst right now that you need to watch out for. We'll get a little bit of more information here, but what else can you tell me about this Empress energy? The lovers. Yeah, you're going to have a choice between lovers, I think. That's what I was picking up before, and that's confirmation. It's also Gemini energy, so you might be dealing with a Libra or a Gemini. Um, I think that's all we have out on the table right now. We have Pisces energy. We have Taurus energy as well. Um, twice, actually, with the Empress and the Hierophant both having come out. So you may be dealing with one of those signs, Leo. Um, or you may have one of those signs heavily aspected in your chart, but you are, you're dealing with a choice here right now, whenever this message reaches you. And I think for a lot of you, it's a choice between two people. Um, I just get these two karmic energies that are trying to interfere. I mean, maybe this is on your end and your person's end. Like maybe you have someone in the mix and your person has someone in the mix that doesn't want to see this come together. Um, but again, I am picking up like friendships, platonic connections between you and a couple of people in your social circle who are false people. We're going to get some more information on that in a bit. Okay, we're going to get some information here with the Kipper deck to clarify a bit. We have the prison coming out on top of the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The number 29 might resonate with someone. Um... This might be someone who's trying to keep someone in this situation in a metaphorical prison. Someone who's trying to hold on to your person or keep them from leaving or possibly just keep them from entering a new relationship is what I'm really picking up here. Main female. Yeah, it's a karmic energy, guys. Whoever this is going to resonate for, this is a karmic feminine energy trying to do this. Um, the number two 
might be significant. Possibly someone born on leap year. <laughs> That's definitely not going to resonate for everyone. But um, on February 29th, this person might be born. Uh, yeah, this is somebody who doesn't want to see a connection come together for you, Leo. I'm not sure if it's on your side or on your person's side. But they're trying to keep somebody imprisoned. Uh, I'm not getting that this is a literal jail it could connect in that way, but I'm getting that it's more like someone who wants to keep you or your person stuck. A journey. So you may meet this person when you're traveling. Uh, the number 10 might also be significant. Um, or this might be somebody that you've been on a twin flame journey with that you're coming together with, Leo. So this might be like your divine masculine coming towards you right now. That we're tapping into but there is a karmic female i do get that it's on your person's side okay um yeah the living room so this might even be like a family dynamic here that's going to try to interfere somehow i was picking that up before as a couple so a king and queen of pentacles but in the reverse so like people who are not in the most positive energy it's not the same as like a king and queen of pentacles coming out upright I'm picking up a malicious vibe from them. And I normally wouldn't pick that up from those cards, but just the way they came out today. And now with the living room having come out, I do think that there is a main female kind of leading this charge or um, leading this drama, this negativity that they're trying to cast towards you and or your person. But there are other people involved too. And I get in this situation, it's a family. All right, so this might be your person's family. They might come from a toxic family. I'm not picking up that your person carries a toxic energy, but they may come from a toxic family dynamic or they may have toxic friends or people in their social group that um, just are jealous that, you know, they've met you or that, um, you know, they have this amazing connection with you. And if this hasn't happened yet, then this might be futuristic. So when this person comes into your life, just... Um, Know that you do have this amazing potential, uh, possibly marriage, family potential with this person. But you also need to be a little bit mindful of their social group and possibly their family. Okay, so that's it's going to connect a little differently for everybody. But that's just what I'm picking up here today. All right, um, we are going to get some direct messages from your person's higher self. Um, if you're dealing with one person or if you're dealing with more than one person, these messages are going to be coming from whoever is most aligned with you in the 5D. Okay, Leo? I don't understand. So right now they may be going through a time of confusion, especially if they are being surrounded by like people who are trying to keep them stuck or trapped or confused in some way. Um, they're... Their inner self, their emotions, their soul might be kind of guiding them in one direction, but I'm just getting a lot of like interference. I'm seeing a TV on static, like someone who's just trying to cause all this interference to block the connection, to block the communication pertaining to whoever your person is. All right. So they want to cause blockages for them. And I'm getting that it's for like a very selfish reason. Maybe these people are trying to benefit off your person financially somehow, and they feel like if they pursue you or a romantic connection or even just veer off on their own like career wise become more independent that they're not going to be able to leech off of your person as much as they want to and that's sad if that's what's going on here because that's really you know it's keeping your person stuck and I feel like your person needs to navigate this on their own and figure out what's best for them without all this interference trying to come in Painful memories. Yeah, I do get that this person has a lot of toxic people around them. Their higher self wants you to know that. Um, you're definitely connected in the 5D, but if things don't move as rapidly as you would hope in the physical world, that's why. Like, that's kind of what's detaining your person right now, Leo. You were too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. Yeah, this is someone who's been brainwashed, I think, by a toxic family dynamic a lot of their life. And they're still dealing with healing, inner healing that they have to do around that. Some For some of them, though, I'm just picking up, they're having to deal with this inconvenience of dealing with karmics who keep trying to pop up and cause problems. Okay, they keep trying to, like, for every solution that your person has for their own life, these people present more problems. That's the type of energy I'm picking up here. 
drugs and alcohol might be something that your person or people around them are struggling with. I mean, that might be part of the toxicity here that they're dealing with. I'm the man. So yeah, on at least on an energetic level, Leo, this person knows that they are your divine masculine. Okay, they've, they've recognized you as the divine feminine or when they meet you, they're going to know that immediately. Okay, drama. Yep, that's what I'm picking up here with this living room. And these, these karmic energies that I sensed before. I was hurt by you. Okay. This might be somebody coming back from your past. If it's not somebody you've dealt with very heavily in this incarnation, it could have to do with past lives that you've spent together. Um, or this could just have to do with how your person is feeling towards the toxic energies around them. This might be their sentiments uh, towards their family members. And part of that patterning might repeat a little bit in your connection with them so it's just something you have to watch out for and then also we have i can't let go of you yeah they're very drawn to you if you haven't come in contact with this person yet that's how they're going to be feeling um almost like two magnets coming together like they can't stop it you know it's like this force of nature that um they're not going to want to go against they want to when they come across you leo or when they have come across you in the past They've always had this nagging sense that, you know, the two of you are supposed to be together. I do get that for somebody listening. This was like a near miss in the past. Like you and this person may have almost come together, whether you realize it or not. Um, you might be cognizant of that if you know who this person is. But if you're not, it was almost like, you know, you may have passed on a busy street and not even seen each other. Like there was this energetic miss between the two of you that could have come together. And I just get that the people in this person's lives are physically influencing their decisions and also energetically affecting things. Like this person needs to put some distance between them and the toxic people around them. Um, it's not that it necessarily can't work out if those people are still in this person's life. But I do get that there needs to be at least a little bit of distance, all right? And if this pertains to you, if you're the one with some toxic energies around you, you might just want to think about who you're spending time with, um, how that might be influencing you, and maybe just take some time for yourself to clear out that kind of energy that's affecting the connection, okay? We're going to pull some Moonology cards to wrap up this reading today. You have a beautiful connection that wants to come in, Leo, so that is the really um that's the amazing news here okay um with both the hierophant and fertility on the table again a very similar message to virgo so we have that like marriage family potential in the energy right now for multiple signs it's just not everybody this is a sad truth but not everybody always wants to see us succeed so you just have to be mindful of those types of energies i do get that it's on your person's side though so they're gonna have to deal with that all right, last quarter moon in Pisces, talk less, feel more. You're in your divine feminine essence right now, Leo. You're tapping into not only your empress energy, but also your high priestess energy. So I feel like this is something that you do very naturally right now. And it's just spirit telling you to continue doing that. Continue putting yourself in that receptive uh, type energy because it's going to help pull this it's going to help pull your divine masculine in. Whoever this divine masculine is attached to you, it's actually pulling him in and guiding him to you when you are in that frequency. So keep on doing that. New moon and Scorpio go deeper. Yeah. Some of you may even want to meditate, try to connect with those really deep emotions that um, you've become so accustomed to tapping into and really, really get yourself positioned um, to continue to draw things in and this is not just romantically this is like your abundance your financial life as well this frequency this energy that you're in is really drawing so many positive things into your life right now and spirit wants you to continue doing that keeping yourself in that energy okay and then we have first quarter moon in aquarius trust the universe i do get that for a lot of you this is your divine masculine like your actual twin flame um and as we know, with a twin flame journey, things are not always linear and they're certainly not always easy. So just know that this person is heavily connected to you right now energetically. Some of you may be in communication with this person right now, or you may be coming into communication with them in the near future. Once you come together, it's going to be beautiful. But I do see a little bit of obstacles and challenges around the people in this person's life that are going to need to be dealt with. And I think the universe just wants you to know, like, 
you know, you don't need to interfere too much. Things are going to unfold as they should. And this person, this is part of their journey. Their independent journey is to figure some of this out on their own, um, deal with it, on, figure out the best way to deal with it. Um, as they kind of heal themselves, I think they're coming to revelations right now about who should be in their life which people they really need to distance themselves from and you know what works for them and as frustrating as that might feel sometimes it, it's something that your person has to do on their own before the two of you can come into like a full harmonious union together that doesn't mean there's not going to be communication though because i am picking up communication coming for someone very soon um, and for some of you, you might even be in communication. I'm getting that for a lot of you, you're no longer in separation with this person. But as far as a full-blown union with marriage, children, the family life, all of that, there's just a few more kinks that this person does need to work out on their end and it has to do with toxic friends or family, okay? Um, I do hope that this resonated for you. We're going to get into the love readings either this week or next week, depending on what decides it wants to pop up in my daily life here and like what is able to go according to schedule. But that's the plan. And I hope that something here resonated for you. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help our channel grow. Other than that, though, I'm wishing you all the peace and harmony, Leo. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.